challenging win for you. You came all the way from 14th. Congratulations on your fifth season win. Uh, this race team doesn't give up. Um, they obviously haven't showed, we haven't showed what we're capable of qualifying, but uh, when you're trying to, you know, you got to think out the box a little bit. We just eliminated the box, so we got to find ourselves, get ourselves back in there qualifying, but racing, um, they always get a great race car for me. I mean, uh, Chevrolet Power and Bad Boy Buggies, they just do an unbelievable job. You know, it was, uh, I didn't know what to expect with the racetrack. You know, we, we kind of expected it to go a little bit slick, but thought it might stay somewhat hooky and the cushion was going to be a little treacherous. And, um, you know, early in the race, tried to stay out of trouble by my time a little bit. And, uh, man, at the end, I guess, um, most importantly, you got to make it all 40 laps before you can can run first, second, or third. And uh, on that start, I don't know, I'm assuming he run out of fuel um, and was right in the middle of the track and Darren didn't get a very good start and I was able to capitalize on that so uh, just glad to be standing here just uh, happy happy to be able to get the win here at Mini Gold Cup. So as a driver when you see that happen when you see the leader just fall off and you're right there and you capitalize that what is running through your head right then? Uh, you just you got to take a you know these races passing such a premium anymore uh, everybody's got good equipment everybody's got good cars you have to if there's an opportunity you have to you have to take it make it or break it and um, you know there was a great opportunity to, there for us so um, we took advantage of it and uh, capitalized on it it's you know that's obviously why we're standing here but uh, you know we had to come a long ways to get to that spot and um, you know at the end of that race it, guys kept doing different things I think uh, whoever was leading got very defensive of, of Kerry behind him because he ran down in there and tried to block Kerry and one and two and carry spun so a lot a lot of scenarios were going on we had a lot of yellow flags but um that's the way it goes uh, just glad to be here all right we're glad to have you up here all right and that's uh donnie shots our first place finisher tonight as we catch up with uh darren Pittman, our second place another great run i know you're not too terribly happy with your second place finish there but talk about your uh last few lap battle there with shane stewart yeah i was just trying to get to the checkered we got a lot of damage there with the front end uh steering wheel was half turned around where it started the race and uh, just for about four laps after, you know, three laps after that, uh, on the last run, I just ran the bottom because I just didn't trust the damage I had, didn't know what I had, and uh, it was okay. So, you know, once I got back to the top, I was just trying to limp it home and, and finish. We had nothing for Donnie at that point with a wounded car, and, and uh, so happy with second at that point. Uh, you know, the biggest mistake I had, I probably, you know, I, I kind of went through one and two pretty slow on that restart because I, I thought the yellow was coming out. I didn't really know what happened there with Neto and didn't understand how the leader can break before we get to the cone. and. Everybody passes him, and we don't get a yellow. But uh, you know, it is what it is. We, at, with, the, with the wounded car, I don't think it was going to change the outcome of the race if we had a yellow and we restarted in the lead or not. I think you know he was going to drive by us. So, uh, all in all, good night. Uh, another second. Got a lot of seconds, but uh, our car's fast, and our, our team's doing a good job, and and uh, we'll just keep plugging away. All right, and that's our second place finisher, Darren Pittman. As we catch up with our third, Shane Stewart. There, I know you were a tough battle there with. Uh, Darren, I don't know if I can spit his name out there. Darren, um, why don't you talk to us about your solid third place night too? Yeah, it, it was a solid third place night. I, I really feel bad for DJ. It stinks to lead a race like that and run out of gas. But uh, it was a, it was a wild race. It typically is here at Chico. And you know, the crazy thing about this racetrack is you never know what you're going to get here. And, and half the time, it's kind of choppy like this, and it makes for a great race. And and uh, I actually hesitated a little bit on that last caution because I thought the, the yellow was going to come out for DJ and. And uh, but uh, hats off to Donnie, he did a great job, and and I thought maybe I could get around Darren, but uh, he held on there. But I'll definitely take third. We we've been struggling a little bit. I know we're still up there in points, but uh, it just seems like we're just off a little bit. And and um, hopefully we're we're on the right path here, and, and can uh, hopefully you know, click off some wins. Uh, we believe you can. And that's uh, Shane Stewart, our third place finisher. Thank you, race fans. Back up to you, Johnny.